Um. <laughs> so, at Ellipses asks, what is your second favorite planet? Well, uh, they probably presume that Mars is my favorite planet, but actually my favorite planet is Earth because I live on it. So Mars is my second favorite planet. But answering the spirit of the question, I would say the next favorite planet after Mars is probably Venus. I think it's very interesting. It's Earth's analog planet. It's about the same size, has about the same gravity. Completely different environment though. Super duper deadly. At Kulam Johnson asks, if Mars had earthquakes, would they be called Marsquakes? Um, yes. And by the way, uh, Mars does have quakes. They recently found that out. They've detected uh, seismic activity on Mars. It's not quite like uh, Earth's tectonic plate movements, but it does have tremors. In response to a question about when is Mars Base Alpha will become a reality, Elon Musk said, probably 2028 for a base to be built. I think Elon Musk is a genius, but I think he's also a very optimistic genius. I, I don't think that we will have a human presence on Mars in 2028, or really anywhere near it. At Field Guide Tom asks, imagine if you just started writing The Martian today. Would recent discoveries about Mars, like scientists finding a 12 mile wide reservoir under an ice cap, change how you might frame or approach the story? Yes, absolutely. They, there have already been a bunch of things discovered about Mars since writing The Martian that would have changed things. For starters, just ignoring the, ignoring the 12 mile lake under, uh, under the ice cap, Martian soil is absolutely littered with ice crystals. And we didn't, that was not known at the time I wrote The Martian. So all this stuff that Mark Watney had to do, all this chemistry and blowing himself up to create water for his crops, all he needed to do was heat up dirt. At Dovakin69 asks, the real question is does the SEC have jurisdiction on Mars? Hashtag Occupy Mars. Um, no, it does not. The United States does not have jurisdiction on Mars. In fact, nobody has jurisdiction on Mars. Mars is legally international waters, thanks to the Outer Space Treaty. At Sophie Bushwick asks, who's your favorite real astronaut? How about your favorite fictional space explorer? Well, my favorite real astronaut is uh, the late John W. Young. He was the commander of Apollo 16, and you know, he walked on the moon. One of my favorite stories about him is they have the astronauts' biomonitors hooked up to them. They can check their heart rate and everything. And they have like, you know, records of what the astronauts' heart rates are at the moment of launch, right? And they always jump up to like 150 beats per minute. John W. Young's heartbeat didn't go above 70. He's just like, yep, on a rocket, going to the moon. And then as for my favorite fictional space explorer, well, definitely somebody from Star Trek. Hmm, but I don't want to be too simple and say Kirk. I mean, out of all the Star Trek characters who could fairly be called explorers. Oh, wait, no. My favorite space explorer is the Doctor from Doctor Who, of course. At We Are Waking Up asks, this is the latest Mars rover. Can you answer me a few questions? Why does it look like a car? Why didn't they go in the normal type of rover? In my opinion, it's so easy they can fake videos easier when pretending they're on Mars with people. Hashtag Mars hoax, hashtag NASA lies, Look into it, hashtag flat earth. Um, <laughs> it comes with a picture of a prototype of a Mars rover. Um, just for the record, uh, NASA has never claimed to have landed human on, humans on Mars. So what Space Force logo is better? Also Space Force? Uh, and he provided a bunch of potential Space Force logos. I often get asked about my opinion of the, of the Space Force, uh, to which I say we already have a Space Force. It's called the Air Force. The U.S. Air Force manages everything related to space and space security. They run all of our spy satellites. They have um, half of the launch pads at Cape Canaveral belong to the U.S. Air Force. They launch stuff whenever they want. When people ask, hey, what'd you just launch? They say, screw you, we're the Air Force. So they, they have total jurisdiction, so to speak, over anything related to defense in space. At Frank Kaufhold asks, when's his, my, next book coming out? I'm ready for more. Well, probably not for a while because I haven't started it yet. And it generally takes me a year to write it and then about six months from there uh, to actually show up on shelves. So my guess is going to be like eh, eh, mid-2020. Sorry about that. I'm slow. Take a look at the first photo from the surface of Mars, Viking 1, 1976. What does it make you feel or think? I'm trying to see if there's any trick to the photo, like he put Marvin the Martian in there or something. I love this photo. I've loved it since I was a little kid. I used to have it up on my wall. Yeah, it kind of takes me back to my early days of being a space dork, as opposed to now, which are my present days of being a space dork. Oh, that's the end of these. <laughs>